Welcome to the presentation, the main stick, efficient conversion for zero knowledge proofs with applications to machine learning. Uh, I'm Chen Kai Wong, it's the joint work with Kang Yang, Xiang Xie, Jonathan Katz, and Xiao Wang. As the adversarial machine learning have, has drawn more and more attention, and the interesting problem is how to demonstrate the evasion attacks. Uh, for example, here we have a model developer. It uh, develops mo a model for image classification. It takes the input a image and outputs a label. It also has a bug bounty program to award anyone who, who find a bug in this model. And uh, we have a challenger uh, who might be a white hat hacker. It finds a bug in this model. It says, I can crash your model, but I won't reveal the vulnerability unless you offer me bug bounty rewards. Um, how do we, how do they deal with this conflict? The model developer says, show me their knowledge. What does it mean? Their knowledge proof of knowledge is for predicate C. Uh, we have two parties, a prover and a verifier. A prover convinces a verifier that knows the win is W, such that the predicate C inputs this W outputs one with three important properties. Uh, the first is the completeness. If CW equals to one, then the verifier should be convinced. The soundness means that if CW doesn't equal to one, then there's a natural probability that the verifier will be convinced after some interaction with the prover. Some stronger pro properties are required for the proof of knowledge requirement. And the zero knowledge literally means no information is revealed except for the output of the predicate C. So these two parties can use this uh, zero knowledge proof to demonstrate uh, this evasion attack. Uh, the, the, the input or the witness of the challenger is this private image and uh, they have some public inputs, uh, which is uh, the original image and the model. So the challenger proves in zero knowledge that uh, it knows uh, perturbation of this image uh, that can uh, cause this model output a uh, wrong label. And then the model developer believes that there is a bug in this model. Except for the evasion attacks, we can also use the download proof to prove the uh, correct inference and the private benchmarks. However, current approaches are not sufficient for this kind of applications for several reasons. Uh, especially for the large scale machine learning tasks. And the first is the scalability. For example, this, uh, we are facing circuits with billions of gates. The second is the uh, supporting for machine learning operations because new many neural networks involve both the linear and the nonlinear layers. And uh, many there are not proofs are not ready to deal with uh, all of these uh, complicated operations. And regarding the efficiency, we need some uh, high efficiency uh, protocols to uh, uh, deal with the meaningful applications which can be run in short time. And the last requirement is the easy for use. We need to uh, hide these uh, cryptographic protocols behind a simple interface so anyone can use these zero knowledge proof protocols for machine learning tasks, but not just the uh, crypto experts. Here is our result. We design an interactive zero knowledge proof protocol for machine learning tasks. We can prove a private inference using the ResNet model with 101 layers of neural network and 42.5 model, million model parameters in several minutes. And we also develop optimizations for some nonlinear operations. Uh, for example, the sigmoid, max polling for Lou, softmax and the batch normalization. Our method can be easily extended to other operations. Of, there are several key contributions of, of our protocol. The first is the conversion between Boolean and arithmetic circuits. The goal is to convert between a series of bits, x0 to x minus one, 
authenticated in Boolean circuits and the field element X authenticated in arithmetic circuits. We have to prove that uh, these bits X0 to X and minus one are the bit decomposition of this field element X. Since this setting is similar to the uh, conversion in the MPC, we adopt some methods such as stab bits or add bits in the MPC setting. Uh, based on this, we developed uh, zero knowledge proof friendly extended doubly authenticated bits, which will be sacrificed when proved the correctness of the conversion in our zero knowledge proof protocol. Uh, for the performance of this conversion in the one gigabit per second network, it only takes uh, around uh, 30 microseconds to do a conversion. Our second uh, key contribution is the conversion from publicly committed values to privately authenticated values. Here, um, the public non-interactive comments are put in, the, in a bulletin board and uh, will be known by all the verifiers. But uh, private authenticated values are uh, secret values that uh, uh, is used in our zero knowledge proof protocol between designated provers and verifier. And in, the, in this case, uh, the prover has a database, DB. It commits to this database and sends the commitment C to a bulletin board. Later, it will use the zero knowledge proof to prove some property of this database to all the provers, sorry, all the verifiers one by one. And uh, it ensures that for all these zero knowledge proofs, uh, the data set used by the prover is consistent with the original database uh, committed by this prover. We use the hybrid commitment uh, the security can be reduced the, to the random oracle and the surrender functions. And for the performance in the one gigabit per second network, it only takes around 55 uh, microseconds to do a conversion. Our third key contribution is the integration with the TensorFlow. Uh, here we need to provide a simple interface for to any non-crypto experts to use the download proof to prove machine learning tasks. At the bottom, we have our download proof protocol mystic. It is integrated into a framework called the Rosetta, which is a privacy preserving computation framework. And the Rosetta also uses the front end of the TensorFlow. So anyone use the API of the TensorFlow can prove a statement in zero knowledge for the machine learning tasks. Uh, for the other contributions, we also have efficient proofs for matrix multiplication based on the Freibold algorithm. And also we have a conversion of fixed points and the floating point row numbers. Uh, this uh, solves the problem of the of both the efficiency of the computation and the accuracy of the computation in the nonlinear layers. For the performance evaluation, we benchmark the uh, private inference for the neural networks. Um, here we have the five levers of the net and uh, uh, also the rest net model. And, and the, for the model and the image, uh, we consider setting uh, where they can be either be private or public. Um, for example, for the ResNet model with 101 layers of neural network and 42.5 million model parameters, we can prove inf a correct inference of image from the Cypher 10 dataset in uh, a little bit more than 500 seconds. We also benchmark the computation of the ResNet model. As you can see from this figure, uh, the batch normalization is the most expensive operation uh, because it involves a lot of the computation of the uh, nonlinear operations using the floating point representation. And uh, the batch normalization is very important for the neural network, so it cannot be avoided. Uh, it can be viewed as uh, interesting future work to improve the computational efficiency 
of the batch normalization in our zero knowledge proof. Thank you for watching this video. You can find in this link the full version of our paper and the implementation will be appear in the EMP library. If you have any question, please feel free to drop me an email. Thank you.